I talk a lot about trends here on this channel and a trend doesn't necessarily mean that something is new. It just means that it's back in fashion. So today I'm shining the spotlight on eight spring basics that are also trending. You're gonna wanna take a look at these. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about basic pieces that just so happen to be trending. Now the great thing about that is that they are everywhere, there are plenty of options, and these basic pieces are going to be those essentials that you grab and reach for all the time. The pieces that sometimes may seem a little boring to buy, but they are just building blocks of your wardrobe and everyone needs them. And this video is in collaboration with Lily Silk. Now, if you've been following me here for a while, you'll know that I've worked with Lily Silk a number of times in the past because it's a brand that I absolutely love. Their pieces are gorgeous beautiful quality and they're also generally very timeless pieces too. I'm also super excited that Lily Silk have given me a discount code to share with you today. Now that is to save 12% off anything on the Lily Silk website. Now I'll leave a link to Lily Silk in the description box below but all you need to do is whip on over to Lily Silk, have a little look and then use my code STYLE12 and as I said that will give you 12% off anything on the Lily Silk website. Now I am wearing a beautiful Lily Silk shirt today and I will show you a few of the pieces that I've recently bought from their new spring collection. But this shirt is a winner for me. Now what I always say on my channel is that you need a kind of a special shirt or a special top that you can pair with jeans like I have today or pants or just a piece that you can pull on and immediately feel put together and stylish. This shirt is one of those pieces for me. It has some beautiful detailed buttons here and it's a metallic-y, goldy, bronze shade. And I know that metallics are trending at the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean that a piece like this isn't going to just last you a lifetime. And that is why I would take the time to invest a little bit more on on some of these pieces that I know are going to stand the test of time. But let me show you how I'm styling this and how I'm also styling some of the other pieces that I've grabbed from Lily Silk. I love the fact that this shirt looks really cool, untucked and just hanging out loose like this over a pair of jeans. Or also I do tuck it in and just give it a slightly different look. The tie detail can be worn lots of different ways, either hanging loose or tied in a bow like this. It really just depends on what look you're going for. And I've paired it with my Karen Britchick cargo pants here, which I absolutely love, and some trainers. I kind of like that high-low look. This gorgeous silk bomber is my absolute favorite piece of the moment. It is reversible as you can see. So I've just teamed it here with some denim cargos and a simple white tank and my cute little furry Karen Walker bag. And here it is reversed as you can see. It gives it a completely fresh new look which is super versatile. I also ordered this knit dress from Lily Silk and I love a little black dress. This one is super comfortable and I love the fact that you can wear the neckline slightly differently. So you can wear the neck pulled down a little bit so you're exposing more of your shoulders or basically wherever you want it to sit. I paired it with a white bag here because I have some white sole detailing on this pair of boots. I tried to thrift a scarf exactly like this, but when I saw it on the Lily Silk website, I knew I had to have it. And this is exactly how I intend to wear this one as a headscarf, because I am obsessed with headscarves at the moment. I originally ordered this logo skinny belt to pair with the dress that I'm currently wearing here. And I am really long-waisted, so it doesn't quite sit on the waist. But I'm going to get so much wear out of this, teaming it with my trousers and my jeans. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little try on and don't forget I will leave the link to Lily Silk in the description box below and take advantage of that discount code STYLE12 and enjoy 12% off everything and anything on the Lily Silk website. Now let's get on with these trends. Now one of the first trends that is very much a basic and this trend or this basic never ever gets any fanfare, it never gets its moment in the spotlight, which is why I've decided to put it at number one today, and that is t-shirts. Now, bear with me for a moment because there are some absolutely gorgeous t-shirts on offer this year. Long sleeve t-shirts are everywhere, and also t-shirts with interesting sleeve deta detailing, 
and t-shirts that are made out of linen, which are beautiful, breathable, and timeless. I'm getting tongue twisted here. <laughs> But t-shirts are definitely having a moment. Now, in my opinion, they are the ultimate layering piece. They are the one piece that just doesn't really get a lot of airtime, but they are an important part of putting together an outfit. There really are some beautiful options this season. So I've seen some gorgeous cropped tees that are absolutely perfect worn with skirts and pants and anything that's high-waisted. It just gives you that option that you don't need to tuck everything in. There's also some beautiful relaxed fit, sort of boxy shaped tees, which are absolutely beautiful. Some gorgeous slim fit wool tees, which are great for this time of year when the weather really hasn't actually made up its mind and we haven't really moved into that super hot weather. And as I said, there are plenty of linen tees on offer as well, which in my opinion always look very chic and elevated. So don't discard the humble tee. And the reason that they are on the top of the list here too is because I've just seen so many beautiful options on offer and they are a perfect piece to start building an outfit from. Now, following on from that, I need to touch on linen as a whole. There are some gorgeous options in terms of linen suiting. I've seen some beautiful linen trousers, gorgeous linen blazers. Now, I don't know about you, but linen is often presented in very earthy, muted tones and just classics like your black and white. But this season, I've noticed a gorgeous selection of beautiful, vibrant colors and Gorgeous linen suiting in vibrant pinks and oranges and greens. It's almost like linen is having a real moment to absolutely shine. I particularly love this vibrant orange short suit when I saw it. And as I said earlier, there are some gorgeous linen t-shirts, beautiful bold greens and colorful options there. There's also even some gorgeous pinstripe short sets and beautiful linen blazers. So there really is something for everyone. And obviously linen's a natural fabric, it's breathable. It's going to see you through into the summer months as well. So it's very much a, a good quality, good wearable piece for this time of the year and as the weather gets hotter. Also linen is absolutely timeless. So any of these pieces that you buy now, you will wear and wear for years to come. And that's what I'm trying to showcase in today's episode. It is all about investing in basics and investing in them when they're trending makes it so much easier because it's just that there are so many more options around. The next basic that's having a moment right now and seems to be trending is the humble cardigan. Now I know that cardigans divide you guys because when I've talked about them in the past, some of you love them, some of you really don't like them at all, but there are plenty of ways that you can make a cardigan look chic and more sophisticated than sort of frumpy. And I think that that's the key when it comes to cardigans, making sure that you don't sort of swamp yourself in too much fabric. Now, long line cardigans are still very much here, but I do tend to think if you feel a little frumpy in a cardigan, then opt for one that is perhaps cropped or a bolero style cardigan with a little tie at the front. There are options that give you the ability to cover your arms or give you a little bit of extra warmth, but you can still look sophisticated and on trend. There are even some beautiful short sleeve collared cardigans in interesting weaves and interesting knit detail. And in my opinion, these are the ultimate pieces. They can be worn buttoned up or worn open as a cardigan. For me, it's all about that versatility, looking at a new piece that I'm going to add to my wardrobe and thinking about a number of ways that I can wear it. But when it comes to cardigans this season, everything goes from long line to shorter to crop to bolero, boxy styles, you name it. But it is about finding the piece that is right for you and one that actually fits your lifestyle. And as in the case of linen and t-shirts, there are some beautiful, vibrant colors on offer as well. Okay, I have talked about trench coats quite a bit here on my channel, but they are seriously having a huge moment right now. And I wonder if you guys have dipped your toe into the trench coat trend. It seems as though many of you are divided. If you have been following me here for a while, you'll know that I recently bought myself a trench coat and absolutely love it. I don't know why it's taken me so long to jump on board this trend. 
I'm particularly loving the look of them at the moment teamed with active wear if you're heading to the gym and you just throw on a trench coat and a crossbody bag, a baseball cap and you look stylish but you're warm, it's practical. In my opinion it's a really good look and I think that's the value of a good trench coat. They are the ultimate final layer. Regardless of what you're wearing underneath, they'll pull everything together and just make your outfit look seamless and modern. So think about a trench coat that you can invest in now and enjoy and wear for years to come. And this year there are some gorgeous trenches in all sorts of different shades from greige to beige to taupe and there are also lots of different lengths as well. So there's the shorter trenches, the super maxi length trenches. So there kind of is something here for everyone. So if you haven't dipped your toe into the trench trend, now is a perfect time to give it a try. Now, of course, button down shirts aren't exactly a trend, but they are very much featuring at the moment in street style images and gorgeous magazine editorials. A humble button down shirt is a classic. Now, the great thing about this season is like most other pieces, they come in beautiful fabrics. There are some gorgeous linen shirts on offer, some beautiful colors. So don't just think your straight classic white button down shirt for spring, summer. There are some beautiful vibrant pinks and oranges. But if you're not into color, you don't have to worry because there's also a gorgeous array of neutrals and tans and just those really basic colors as well. I've seen some beautiful pinstripe shirts and also shirts with just interesting details. So slightly longer cuffs or slightly cropped shirts, which in my opinion make for a really easy outfit. So don't discard a classic shirt and it doesn't have to look corporate at all. Another trend that I've noticed a lot this year, and it's very much a basic, is a slim belt. Now, any outfit is going to immediately look elevated by adding a belt. And this season in particular, there are some gorgeous slimline belts, which in my opinion are much easier to wear. One, you don't feel restricted when you're wearing them. They're just that extra little piece or a little extra detail that adds something special to your outfit. And sometimes a classic pair of jeans or pants just need a little something to pull the outfit together and make it look finished. But I have this beautiful slimline belt that I've just grabbed from Lily Silk, which I absolutely love. And the thing about a belt like this is that it can be worn with jeans, pants, over dresses. It can help you cinch in a coat or a, a jacket. It's a great piece to have in your lineup. And I know a lot of you are a little bit scared of belts, but these slimmer belts are much, much easier to wear. And as I said, they just add that final piece of polish to an outfit. This season, another basic that is very much trending is the maxi skirt. Now, it seems as though anything goes. Of course, we've got denim maxis that are very much having a moment, but not only the denim maxis, there are pleated skirts, there are A-line, there are flared. I love the fact that maxi skirts are so easy to wear. They're comfy, they're cool. I often get questions on this channel about petite girls who feel a little bit sort of overwhelmed by a maxi. It's really just about choosing the right maxi for you. There are some gorgeous pencil maxis as well. These may be a little bit of a better option for you if you are petite because there's less fabric to kind of swallow you up. But there really is a maxi skirt that will work for everyone. Now, last but not least, denim shirts are also having a moment. Now, I think that's very much because Double denim is trending. It's a look that we are seeing gaining momentum at the moment. And a denim shirt's a very easy way to achieve this look. The other great thing about a denim shirt is that it sort of doubles as a jacket. And lightweight denim pieces or chambray shirts are great for this. They are lightweight, they cover your arms, they give you that little extra layer when you need it. They can also be tied around your waist, worn exactly in the same way that you would wear a denim jacket, but it's a spring summer version. The other tip that I have with denim shirts is to look in the menswear department. Menswear tend to have really good options when it comes to denim shirts. They're a better price and they definitely seem to have more variety and different weights of denim too. So definitely think about denim shirts. They're a classic piece that, as I said, you can wear numerous ways and they're perfect for spring, summer. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I would love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.